Well, I'm going to start a series, and I'm, this is what I'm calling it. What, is it. What's right or what's wrong? Or uh, basically something similar to that. And uh, this first one is going to be called Panhandling. And uh, a lot of the different cities got different uh, rules and regulations against panhandling. Uh, I looked in some areas where they charge the panhandler anywhere from $50 to get a permit to $300. Now, you take a person that needs to panhandle to uh, feed yourself, like uh, hold up a sign, I'll work for food, or this, that, and the other, that, do they have uh, the $50 for the permit, or the $300 in some areas and more, for a permit to panhandle. And I'm thinking, well, any time it got uh, something to do with money, everybody comes out of the woodwork and wants their fair share, where it's principality, or uh, a church organization, or you can name it, uh, there is a even panhandling online, uh, but uh, different, uh, you could have, a, let's say, a PayPal, they want their fair share. Uh, let's see, uh, GoFundMe wants their fair share. Uh, this is all things online, I'm not too sure about, let's say, panhandling, be GoFundMe, uh, PayPal. Anytime you ask other people for money or assistance or, or help, Everybody wants their fair share. So is it wrong for principalities to put up these laws or, or, or online businesses like PayPal and GoFundMe and there's something else? Uh, uh, what is the other one? Anyway, uh, for these panhandlers, if a person asks for help, uh, uh, online uh, or on, uh, uh, not online, but uh, what they call it, uh, on the media, not media, well, uh, social network or whatever they call it. Uh, but everybody's wanting their fair share from the low principalities and towns, from a $50 permit to uh, uh, even hand out advertisements on behind your a windshield and stuff. Everybody wants a permit, you know, uh, these homeless people are use, uh, handing out uh, cards on street corners or, uh, you know, but everybody wants their fair share when it comes to uh, monies involved or any kind of aid or assistance involved. They want their share. Now, is it right or is it wrong? That's what I'm. That's what I'm going to name these series. Is it right or is it wrong for uh, for people to, or organizations to take out their cut, like when you donate money, when you uh, give to the. Uh, uh, Humane Society, uh, especially when, with panhandlers. That's what, what the first one's going to be. Panhandling, is it wrong? And there's uh, on, online media doing it. There's uh, YouTube has got it all over it. Panhandlers, more or less. Uh, is it wrong or is it right to take the share out of the panhandling for when you're supposed to be trying to help in, uh, these needy people? So that's what my question is. What is it right or is it wrong for to get their fair share? Start up a business on it, like uh, Patreon is another one. That's what I was thinking of. All these panhandlers, basically, that's panhandling, but everybody, since they want their money, give to them freely, they want their fair cut to handle the money. So uh, the cities has come up with a deal where they can get $300. Now that permit's only good for four to six weeks or something like that for a certain period of time. It ain't good for a whole year. It's, it's just short time, four to six weeks, I believe it is. And not over two months for a certain corner that you're going to pan and on. You have to prescribe or put down what corner you're going to pan on. And they can only have so many people on that corner or corners, four corners, uh, with a permit, and they have to show their permit, which cost them 50 to $300 to, to panhandle. Now, what is right? Is it right to panhandle, or is it right to charge 
for uh, people that needs help or whatever, or panhandlers, even on a media uh, internet and on street corner. I mean, uh, I went to town just the other day and uh, they were all over the place, these panhandlers. And then some of them are ignor uh, irritating and some of them are not. Uh, some of them will give you life history or, sh or they do that online or on, on, the, on social media. That's what I call it, social media. And uh, they do that on the robocalls. Uh, do you need your carpet cleaned today? Uh, soliciting. It's basically a type of soliciting and uh, and panhandling and a little combination of mooching and begging. But is it right or is it wrong for organizations like PayPal, uh, Patreon, uh, GoFundMe's, uh, uh, principalities to charge for the service of doing the panhandling? Let me know in my comments. Be sure to subscribe. I've got a bunch more coming up of what's right or what's wrong. And uh, like I said, I, me, I'm not giving an opinion. It could be right or it could be wrong. So just give me what you think and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you want to do. But uh, remember, everybody needs their fair share of cuts. It's what the, it seems to be in society today. Nobody's going to do nothing for free or let you do anything for free.